Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome to a brand new series. That's right, RB Plays Enigmatica 6. That's right, folks, we're back in a modded world doing all the cool modded things. This is a brand new series. You're looking at episode one, uh, and that is a that is a gigantic mountain behind me. Lately, when I've loaded up mod packs in 116, this seems to be the seed that I get a lot. I don't know what that's all about, but there's almost always a gigantic snow-covered mountain in my background. But anyway, that is uh, that is beside the point. So yeah, we're in Enigmatica 6, and uh, and I am super excited about this because I've been looking at this for a little while now. Uh, Enigmatica 6 was last updated uh, end of November, uh, and it's uh, second week of December now, so you know it's a couple weeks old uh, as far as this mod, as far as this uh, this revision goes. Enigmatica Six is based on 116.4, and it has got a lot of very cool, uh, very cool things in it. Um, so I, I don't have a plan. I don't have a plan for this uh, for this series yet. Uh, we're like I said, we're just getting started. So I do need to uh, to do all the things. Like we need to uh, we need to punch wood and and get all of our materials. I need to figure out what we're gonna do for tools and stuff. Uh, speaking of, uh, as far as pickaxes go, what do we have for options? We've got vanilla stuff. We've got nature's aura. We also have uh, immersive engineering. Um, uh, oh, we have a pickerang. Ooh, from Quark. Nifty. Uh, an octopick from Lost Trinkets. So that's cool. We also have mechanism. So mechanisms in the pack. That's nice to know. So no tinkers or anything like that. Ooh, we have Batania. So that's cool. No tinkers or anything like that. But uh, that's, uh, you know, it is what it is. Let's go get some wood. And while we get some wood, we can chat about a couple of things. Um... I'm thinking I need to find a good place to to call home. Do we have? Oh, do we have? I'm pretty sure we do have. Uh, yes, we do have. We do have. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we do have uh, a void mine or not void miner, uh, vein miner slash or excavator kind of a thing going on. We have a, Euro a yellow birch sapling. That's cool. Ow, ow, ow. That hurts. Ow, that hurts. Ow, 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 ow. What are you? Fully grown blueberries. They hurt. Don't touch the fully grown blueberries. Okay. Note to self, don't touch the blueberries. Um, anyway, um, there are so, there is some there is some lag in the world. So I've noticed that there are some optimizations that you can put in. If you're installing this pack for the first time, I would strongly recommend following the instructions that are given out uh, by the Enigmatica team. Uh, you can find those under uh, on the CurseForge page, you can find those right there where, uh, where you download. It'll talk about uh, instructions and stuff. Uh, on how to best optimize the pack, um, and right now we're doing okay. I mean, we're we're at 70, roughly 70 FPS. But as I move around, you know, things are things are struggling a little bit. I'm not sure what biome packs are in here or what biome mods are in this pack, so we might want to take a look at that. But now that we got some wood, um, actually, I would like to get some more wood. I think. Don't touch the blueberries. Do not touch the blueberries. Uh, I'd like to get some more wood because I want to get a full a full slate of tools, and I want to figure out fi fi fing figure out. I want to figure out where we want to uh, uh, to do our uh, our initial base. I'm guessing we'll probably just do the base right over here in this flat area uh, that we spawned in under. Um, I don't want to get too far away from the. I don't want to get too far away from the woods, but at the same time, I don't want to be too close to them. If that makes any sense, I'm trying to figure out what kind of base I want to build. I'm thinking I might want something kind of futuristic, maybe? I haven't done a super futuristic build uh, recently other than some of the stuff that I had done in vanilla, and even that wasn't super futuristic. Um, that mountain is... I, I'm not sure I'm fond of that mountain. Oh, what's this? Oh, a strawberry bush. Can I have the strawberry bush? Yes, I can. So I have that strawberry bush, and that strawberry bush, and that strawberry bush. I suspect that those will be those will be handy. Um, as far as mods that are in the pack, let's take a look at those real quick. Um, so we go into uh, to do to do to do uh, options. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, back to the game. Let's just look here. So as far as as far as mods that are in the pack, there's not there's not a lot, right? There, I mean, there's enough. 
Uh, but there are things in here that I'm super excited about, like Mechanism. I've never done a full-on uh, let's go through all of the things that Mechanism can do, so we might do that in this pack. Uh, there's also Refined Storage. There's also Batania, so I suspect that we're probably going to want to get Batania set up pretty quick because Batania is a way for us to get a lot of cool things that... Uh, uh, that we may not have access to through any other means. Uh, aquaculture, a diamond fishing rod from aquaculture and Neptun Neptunium bows and Neptunium helmets. Ooh, that, that could be cool. Like, what do I got to have? Neptunium ingots. And we get that from Neptunium stuff. And we got to have an arc furnace. And Okay, well, that's cool. Um, yeah. So let's get ourselves, let's just go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a, a crafting bench. Uh, do I have this option? I do. Crafting station. Cool. We'll get ourselves a full, uh, full complement of tools. Uh, so grab some of those, and then we'll get some of those, and we'll get that. And we'll do one of those. Yes, please. And we'll do one of those. Ah, you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get the full complement of tools yet because I want to get stone. Um, all right, over here, can you get some stone? Oop, come here. I don't want to lose you. So this first episode is basically gonna be us getting ourselves squared away as far as um, where we want to live and what kind of base we think we might want. But I'm gonna go ahead and grab some stone here. Stone, stone. Ooh, we're we're running low on food already, but we've we've made it into the Stone Age. Ooh, hello. Hello? Yeah, we're getting them. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, oh, can I just do this? Yes, I can. And I can break my pick. So, but that's okay because now we can just build, now we just make another one. Right? Right. All right. So give me, uh, give me this and give me a few more of these. That's probably enough. Uh, we want a sword. Hello? Oh, I didn't pick him up. <laughs> I didn't pick him up. That was that was kind of odd. How much did I get? I got almost a stack. That's cool. That's cool. All right. So anyway, we can uh, build ourselves a sword to protect ourselves. We can build ourselves a pickaxe, uh, not to protect ourselves, but to uh, achieve all of the goodness that we can get from underground. We're going to need an axe, obviously. So let's get that real quick. Like, what else do we need? Do we need, um, I don't think we can make one yet. A shield? Uh, that is not how you spell shield. Shield. Can I make a shield? No, because I don't have any iron. So it looks like, um, looks like we're going to have to go on a, on a little mining spree. What else do I need? I got a, I got a sword. I got a pick. I got, uh, do we want to, yeah, we probably do want, we probably do want to get underground because nighttime is coming, but we probably also want, a, uh, a hoe. That is not how you make a hoe. Uh, make a hoe so that we can get some farming going when we next uh, come back. Uh, we just we have to find some water. I haven't seen any water yet. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go on a little walkabout. Probably going to get underground here pretty quick as well and uh, and see what we can find as far as uh, as far as underground goodies and such. And uh, I'll come back when I've got something to show you that is uh, worth showing. Uh, the way I do my mining tunnels is um, I go, uh, I go off in these little branches. I think I learned this from Zazuma. Um, you go four blocks in and then as far out as you can reach, right? And then you go four more blocks and as far as you can reach and more, four more blocks and as far as you can reach. Um, and that has a general tendency to uncover everything kind of worthwhile. Uh, can I get that all? Yes, I can. That gives a tendency to, you know, to kind of combine up everything that's worthwhile. Zinc, I can't get zinc yet because I don't have the right tool, but I can get all of this iron. Yay. Uh, we can put down a torch like so, so that we uh, get that. Fluorite. Can't pick up the fluorite yet, but I should be able to pick up all of this lapis, right? Lapis lazuli. I love the lapis lazuli. I love to say lapis lazuli, but uh, yeah, I can't pick you up yet. Um, so you just go in like five more and then four more, right? Four, yeah, and then you go this way. Ba -doop. Yep, and then go this way. And hopefully, what is that? That's arcane ore. Ooh, what is that? From Emen that you uh yeah, mm -hmm, yeah, whatever that says. <laughs> Let's go see if we can get that because it says that we can mine it. 
Yeah, we can. So arcana ore? Arcane ore? I wonder what that's used for. Let's take a look. That might be something that we might want to get into uh, fairly soon, like arcane magic type stuff. That'd be cool, yeah. So arcane, that's a mana gen. Uh, mana, gem, mana gem. Um, and so its uses are, we get the worn notebook from Ars Nouveau. We get uh, lava lilies from Ars Nouveau. So it looks like a lot of this stuff is Ars Nouveau, which is cool. Uh, what is this? A crystallizer. Maybe we get the uh, maybe we get this book and find out what we can do with this, right? We can get magic clay from Ars Nouveau, a Dominion wand. We can make a Dominion wand right now. I don't know what it uh, I don't know what it's used for, but we can make one. We can also make a dull trinket. We should probably get the book, right? Uh, we should probably get the book and find out what we can do with this Ars Nouveau mod because that. I mean, you know me, I'm a sucker for some magic mods, and since Tinkers are not Tinkers, since Thomcraft is. Uh, basically non-existent anymore, which is unfortunate. Perhaps, perhaps it'd be a good idea for us to get into a different kind of magic mod. But right now, before we do anything else, let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, it can pick up from the furnace. Nice. Let's do that. And let's do that. Now we got a pickaxe and now we should be able to get some of this other stuff that we couldn't get before, right? Like, uh, like zinc. Right? Should be able to get zinc, yeah? Yeah. Should be able to get zinc? Yeah, we can. Cool. So that gives us... Oh, we have no inventory space. Um, Let's get rid of the diorite, because diorite sucks. So we'll get rid of the diorite. We'll also pick up this uh, fluorite stuff. Not that I know what to do with it, but we have it at least. Uh, let's put up a torch so that nothing can, no baddies can spawn. Let's grab this coal. I'm going to go ahead and do some more mining, and then I think we're going to head back to the surface uh, and see if we can get the book for this uh, Ars, uh, Ars, Ars Arcana, whatever it is, Ars Nouveau. Yeah, Ars Nouveau, that's it. Uh, go up to the surface, see if we can get something for that, and uh, see what we can do with, this, uh, with these mana gems that we just got. Cool? Sounds like a plan. Okay, so here I is at the uh, starter base. Uh, I have I have put a spot on the map. You can't see it right here, but it's it's there. Um, and I'm ready. I've been doing a little bit of smelting. I got some iron. I got some osmium. I'm working on some tin. I've also got some smooth stone cooking up so that I can uh, do some fabricating and whatever if I need smooth stone. But uh, right now, what I want to do is I want to see if we can do something with this mana gem. So I want to go out and I want to find some sugar cane and possibly a, a, a cow because uh, we're going to need that. I also need to get a farm going, but uh, some sugar cane and possibly a cow so I can make a book uh, because you need a book in order to make uh, the, uh, the thing that we're trying to make with this gem. Uh, any mobs around? No, I think they're all down underground in that one cave that we found. Um, so anyway, go in here and then do uses on this and that gives us this uh, this this worn notebook from Ars Nouveau. Um, and then also, while we're at it, uh, you know what? While we're at it, I think we're going to need this anyway. So let's go ahead and make, let's go ahead and make that for, oh, hey, big old Estrus, you'll be proud. It's a pink beacon. It's a pink, it's a pink marker for our base. You'll be proud. Uh, anyway, let's go in here. Let's do this. We've got uh, wood in, well, the wood's in this chest. Darn it. Uh, okay, we'll keep the wood in this chest because that's the one that's closest down here. So we'll get some of these, right? Uh, so boom, and then sticks, boom, boom, and then that, right? That was how we did that, yes? Yeah, so now we've got the Dominion Wand. It has no entity set and no location set. We'll figure out what that's all about in a minute. Uh, but let's go and see if we can locate the sugar cane and the uh, and the cows. I'm, I'm suspecting that sugar cane will be easier to locate than cows will. Um, I'm hoping at least that sugar cane is fairly easy to locate. We're along this river biome, so I'm guessing that we'll be, oh, there's some, there's some botania flowers. Let's grab, ooh, it's cold and windy and stuff, but there's some botania flowers. Let's grab those. Yes, please. Uh, Oh yeah, we're getting some. Wow, that's really, really loud. Why is that so stinking loud? Uh, let me see if I can do something with the with the sounds. Um, I'm guessing that that's gonna be ambient. Let's turn that down to about thirty and see if that makes a difference. I think it did. 
I don't know if it did or not, but I think it did. All right, let's see if we can find some sugar cane. I don't know what we're going to find any sugar cane or not. We probably should also get some squids. What is that? What is that? I just found a diamond. Did you see that? I just found a diamond in the ice. How does that even happen? How does that even happen? Anyway, let's grab a squid. Hello, squid. There we go. All right. So that's some squid ink. That's cool, but that's not what we needed. Although we will need it at some point. Wow, the the lag is real right now. Holy cow. Uh, we do need to eat some food. And we need to find a cow. Yeah, the lag is real right now, y'all. Still no sugar cane. There's some more Botania flowers over there. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and go off camera a little bit. I'm going to wander around. I'm going to see if I can find what I need to find. And I'll come back to you when I do. How about that? Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a winner to me. Yeah, so there's a lot of sheep here and we're going to need a bed. So hi, Mr. Sheep. I love you. Too. I, you're, you're, you're great. Your sacrifice will not go unnoticed. But I, I need... Oh, drink it unlocked. Piggy. Cool. Uh, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory. I don't need raw calamari. I don't think I need uh, this piece of cobblestone. That's cool. But we need, but we do need this. So now we can make a bed. Yay. We can make a bed. Uh, is there a sleeping bag in here? Sleeping bag? There are sleeping bags. So a white sleeping bag. Are you kidding? A white sleeping bag is just white wool? I'll take two, please. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'll take one. Oh, I can't. I mean, we would. Uh, we could do this. We can chop down this tree. Yeah, that works. Wow, that was lag city, yo. Lag city. So give me... Uh, I got to figure out what this is. I, I saw this in my inventory. I got it while I was mining. Breaking open at a workbench may yield valuable minerals. So cool, I guess. Um, I don't need that egg right now. What I do need is this. Yeah, we'll get that back. I promise we'll get that back. All right. And then a sleeping bag. Sweet. So we can sleep now. Cool. Uh, and I guess I don't need slate. I could probably pick that up at some point. Um, I don't want to get that. Why do I have... Oh, that's a raspberry bush. Strawberry bush, raspberry bush, hemp seeds. Uh-huh. I can get more birch saplings. Okay, cool. And I don't need to worry about that. All right. All right. Now, we're still looking for sugar cane. Ugh. I'll be back. So, our first sleep of the night. And as soon as we wake up, check out what we just found. Ta-da! Sugar cane. Uh, nothing... No, no leather yet, but sugar cane, yes. So, hello. Give me the sugar cane. Oh, I can't pick up the sugar cane because I have no room in my inventory. Uh, let's get rid of, you know what? These are going to be easy enough to get back. So we'll get rid of the seeds. That'll give us that. Now we just need to find cows. Where in the world am I going to find some cows? I haven't seen any cows anywhere. What if I go up here? Just got to find some cows. Hmm. The quest continues. Okay. So my mini-map has revealed the location of my bovine target. Uh, where are you? Over there and also... Yep, just over here. So the, the mini-map has become my friend. <laughs> there should be a pig or a cow right over here. Like, oh, I hear him. <gasps> There's a cow. Okay, so leather. Yeah, we got leather. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Um, what can <laughs> what can I get rid of? Uh, spruce saplings, not so much. Um, sand, we can get rid of sand. Okay. So now we need to make uh, we need to make this uh, this nature's aura book. So let's see if we can get a book going. I should have kept that crafting table. Oh well. It is what it is, yo. Uh, so drop that. Put that there, and then do that. And then we need a. Uh, we need some paper. Oof. 
We'll have just an <laughs> we'll have just enough sugar cane. Whoops. Hello? Oh, apparently I crafted the paper. Yeah, I crafted the paper. I don't know why it didn't show it in my inventory, but hey, it's fine. Can you stop doing that to me, cow? So now we've got this and that, and that gives us a worn notebook. Uh, I don't have any room in my inventory. Egg. So put this in slot number three. Sure. Yeah, that makes sense. And open the book. Okay, so the Warn Ars Nouveau provides spellcrafting, magical devices, powerful trinkets, and magical entity automation to help development or report issues. Join the Discord, blah, 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 blah. So there's getting started, there's resources. So getting started, new spells, glyphs and process, a uh, uh, glyph press. Uh, so we'll have to look into that. Hello, can I get back to, there we go. Uh, starter spells, world mana, new spells. So spell crafting or spell casting. A novice spell book. So we need a book and we need an iron shovel, iron pick. And okay, can I do that? I can, but I got to go back to the base first because I got to plant this one piece of sugar cane so that I can get another book. But I have enough leather, I can get another book. So let me venture back to the base and, uh, and I'll come back to you when I'm ready to show you what we're going to do once we get there. Okay, y'all, this is kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> I came out on another little walkabout while I'm, I planted the sugar cane back at the house. I came out on another little walkabout to see if I could find some more, and I did. Uh, it's right over It's right over here someplace, but look at this. There's like stuff buried in the... There's like stuff buried in here. We have armor now. So we got that, we got that, we got a pair of boots. Yeah, they're leather boots, but hey, look at that, we got armor. We got that. We got gold. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Look at that stuff. Oh, look at, oh we got gold boots. Oh, we'll put those on instead. I mean, that's freebies, yo. I like it. Now we're, oh, there's sugar cane. And that's almost enough to do what I gotta do. So, oh, there's another piece. Cool. All right, so now I can make the book. Uh, let's head back. Ooh. What is that? Is that an emerald? That's an emerald. No, it's, yeah, it's emerald. And fish. Dude, I love the fact that there's just random stuff buried in the ice. That's awesome. Anyway, back over to the base. We shall go. What's that? Uh, copper ore. Sure, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll take that. Why not? So back over to the base. Uh, we will get ourselves a uh, an arcane notebook. Uh, is it an arcane notebook? Uh, no. It's a spell book. Uh, we'll get ourselves a spell book, which is one of the first things that you got to do anyway. Uh, and then that'll probably do it for this episode because I'm sadly I'm running low on time. Um, but this is uh, this is going to turn out to be a pretty good thing, I think. So let's I think that has I think that little floaty thing that we just walked through. I think that has something to do with the arcane energy that you got to tap into for this uh, for this magic mod. Now, I don't know how much uh, attention we're going to pay to this magic mod, uh, but it is. Hello. Yep. It is something that I would like to, uh, hello, get out of there. Uh, it is something that I'd like to, uh, to progress with a little bit just to see what we can accomplish with it, you know? Um, so yeah, our base is just right over here. We're close. We're super close. It's just right around the corner. Um, so let's get ourselves, uh, all of the tools that it said that we needed because it said we needed one of each tool. Hello cave. Ooh, hello. Hello Cole. Uh, I planted a little farm over here, so I've got uh, some stuff growing so that we can at least make an attempt to stay alive. <laughs> haven't died yet, which is cool. Haven't really done much yet, but haven't died yet. There's the sugar cane that I was waiting on. It does not want to grow at all. And then here is, of course, the, uh, the temporary starter base. So in here, I've got some iron. In here, I have uh, some iron. And then here, uh, we basically need to do one of every tool. Oh, wow, we got another iron pickaxe. Cool. Uh, so we need a sword. Uh, do we need a sword? Hold on. Um, spell book. Novice spell book. I think it's the novice one, yeah. Yeah. So we need a sword, we need a shovel, we need a pick, and we need a an axe. So let's get a sword. We need a pick. 
Nope, we got a pick. We need an axe. And let's just do that, because we're going to need more of these anyway. So we need that, that, that. We needed a shovel. Right? And I think that was it, wasn't it? Shovels were... Uh, we need a book. Okay, so we'll just get a book. Empty maps. Where do we get empty maps? Oh, from that uh, from the stuff buried under the ice. Yeah. All right. So one, two, three. And then one, two, three. And then that. And that gives us a book. And then we do that. And we do this. Ta-da! We have a novice spell book. Uh, we can put some of this stuff away. I'm gonna put. Whoops. I'm gonna put the. I'm gonna put all that in there. I can put this and this in there. Cool. Uh, did a little bit of organizing of my stuff. Yes, I know. Who is this? What are, and what have I done with the real RB Blaze? I'm sort of organized. Uh, we will plant that. Hopefully those will grow. They don't. This one doesn't seem to be growing. Oh, it is. Oh, that's 80%. Okay, cool. It was zero when I left. So, yeah. All right. So we got ourselves a spell book. We got ourselves a sleeping bag. We're well on our way to working our way through the Ars Nouveau uh, mod. I'm going to see if I can find some more information on that. Uh, in between episodes, I'm also going to go and do a lot more mining because I don't have I don't have very much stuff at all. I've got some copper. I've got some nickel, some more osmium, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I also need to do a little bit more exploring and see if where we can see if we can figure out where we want where in this world we want to uh, put our base, because this world is kind of it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's kind of kind of strange the the mods that they're using for biome generation are very cool but at the same time like none of this stuff is familiar to me so i gotta see if i can figure out where we want to be but that is all the time we have for today folks thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did make sure you hit that like button also don't forget to subscribe the likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky youtube search results the other thing that helps out a lot is comments so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will talk, uh, we'll chat about it in time. I'm super excited to see what I can do with this spell book. I'm not sure exactly how to use it yet. If you guys have any, any, any suggestions whatsoever, then please, please, please let me know down in the comment section. Uh, but that is all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.